Welcome to NorCal Slot Car Scene. Today, we're going to discuss the gears used in 1 32nd scale slot car racing and why you may want to change them. The gears that your slot car uses is determined by the motor configuration. There are three motor configurations used in 1 32nd scale racing. Sidewinder, inline, and angle winder. The smaller gear that is attached to the motor is called the pinion gear. Pinion gears may look similar, but they are specific to each application. The gear attached to the axle is the crown gear in an inline configuration and a spur gear in both angle winder and sidewinder configurations. At first glance, the two spur gears look the same, but when you take a closer look, you can see that the angle winder gear, the teeth are cut at an angle, and on the sidewinder, the teeth are cut flat. In 124 scale racing, gear mesh is adjusted by moving the motor closer or further away from the spur gear. 132nd scale slot cars have a fixed motor location, so you must purchase the correct spur gear for your car. The best way to find the correct spur gear is to look on the manufacturer's website to define the right gear for your car. Crown gears are a bit different. The mesh on this crown gear is set by the motor shaft centering itself in the boss of the gear. There is one exception, and that is if you're using a one millimeter offset slotted pod. The motor shaft is lower than the axle. If you use a standard crown gear, after a while the gear will fail. Slot it makes a gear with a teeth cut specifically for this application. Also, make sure you secure the motor in place as it not only aids in proper gear mesh, but it can help reduce the tires from chattering in the corners. Gear ratios are calculated by dividing the number of teeth on the pinion gear into the number of teeth on the crown gear or spur gear. A slotted group C car comes with a 28 tooth crown gear and a 9 tooth pinion gear. That calculates to a 3.11 gear ratio. If you change the pinion gear to a 10 tooth gear, the ratio is now 2.80. This is considered going to a higher gear. So, why would you change the gear ratio that comes with your car? There are three characteristics affected when you go to a different gear ratio. If you go to a higher gear ratio, it will result in slower acceleration, but you will attain a higher top speed. The higher gear ratio also reduces the braking effect of the motor. Choosing the right gear ratio depends on many factors. Let's take a look at a simple example. If you're racing on a track with a long straightaway, and you go to a higher ratio, your car will accelerate slower off the corner, but you will attain that higher top speed. At the end of the straight, it will take more distance to get slowed down. It's all about finding the right balance for your car and track. The only way to find the best ratio is to experiment and check your lap times. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. This is Jim Rose with NorCal Slot Car Scene.